Chapter 35 Hanuman The Pandava brothers and Draupadi missed Arjun dearly. They had not heard from him in years and feared the worst. Yudhisthira still harbored a deep guilt for their circumstances as a result of his actions. One fateful day, their home received an unexpected visitor, sage Narada. Known for his mystical sight, Narada brought tidings of Arjun's success in acquiring divine weapons. The family was overjoyed by this news. Narada advised Yudhisthira to make the most of the time until Arjun's return by embarking on a sacred pilgrimage to the divine places of worship. In agreement, Yudhisthira and his family set off to travel to various sacred sites. They performed acts of worship and paid their respects at the revered places they visited. One morning, while Draupadi and Bhim sat along the serene banks of a river, Draupadi spotted a beautiful flower drifting downstream. She picked it up and thought, this would make a splendid garland for Yudhisthira, but I need more. She turned to Beam and asked, Beam, could you fetch more of these flowers from up the mountain? Beam readily agreed and embarked on his journey to collect the flowers, while Draupadi returned to their dwelling. As Beam ascended the mountain, he encountered an unusual obstruction in his path. A monkey's tail stretched across his way. Beam hesitated to leap over the tail, finding it disrespectful. Instead, he struck the ground with his mace to awaken the monkey. The monkey stirred and inquired about Beam's purpose. Beam replied, Your tail blocks my path, dear monkey. Please remove it so that I may continue on my journey. The monkey responded, I am weary and in need of rest. You may move tail yourself and proceed. Annoyed, Beam reached down to lift the monkey's tail. But to his astonishment, it wouldn't budge. He used both hands and exerted all his immense strength, but still, the tail remained immovable. Beam, who had consumed the Naga potion in his youth, granting him the strength of 10,000 elephants, was baffled by his inability to move a mere monkey's tail. It dawned on him that this was no ordinary monkey. With humility, Beam folded his hands and beseeched the monkey to reveal its true form. In a blinding flash of light, the monkey transformed into Lord Hanuman. Beam dropped his knees, overwhelmed by the Divine Presence. Lord Hanuman lifted Beam to his feet and embraced him, saying, My dear Beam, I have yearned to meet you for a long time. We are spiritual brothers, both blessings of Varuna, the Wind God. Forgive my playful teasing. Beam was excited to meet his older brother, and they talked for hours. Lord Hanuman then guided Beam, revealing two distinct paths. This path leads to heaven. No mortal may pass this way. This is the path you must take. It leads to the flowers you seek. But beware, for these flowers grow in the heavenly garden owned by Lord Kubera. It is guarded by celestial beings, and they will not yield them easily. Thank you for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. This will ensure that more people can find this resource. Click the notification button so that you can be the first to know about new uploads. And please do comment below. I'll do my best to reply to any questions. Thank you.